I'm Carrie Tomlinson in Cabo, Mexico. Here's our list of the top 10 most entertaining passwords from around the world that are also ridiculously easy to hack. We may get a chuckle if we use them, but attackers get the last laugh as they crack them with little effort. So best to enjoy these passwords from right here and not in your accounts. Number 10, the pet names password. Not what you call your dog or cat, but a person you like. Most are pretty ordinary, but not this one. Baki, a popular password in South Africa, meaning a little buck, like a spring buck. It's used as sweetheart, a show of affection. Also, by the way, a mascot for a South African rugby team. Baki's very cute, but also very hackable. Just two minutes for attackers to crack it. We fancy these pet names as passwords around the world, including Lulu in France, like sweetie, Kohanie in Poland, like baby or honey, Corazon in Mexico, like heart or love, and baby girl in the US. Unfortunately, these passwords, like hearts, are easy to break. Number nine, the opposite, the insult password, most too offensive to show, but this may be the gentlest. Pangit, which means ugly in Tagalog, represented here by the ugly duckling. It sounds harsh, like this example from the Urban Dictionary. That dude is so pangit, his reflection got a blindfold. But some people use it as a cute name for their loved one. It's part of pop culture, like this movie, Diary of an Ugly Person, a box office hit in the Philippines in 2014, where a character labeled as unattractive finds true love. Use Pongit as a password and you'll be very attractive to cyber crooks who can guess it in just one minute. Other somewhat mild insult passwords around the world. Lamas, sheep in Estonian, also slang for someone not smart. Wombat in Australia, an animal, also used for a thick-headed person. And lopus in Lithuania, meaning patch, but slang for an ignoramus. There are many others too crude for this video, but sharp-witted attackers can break through in minutes. Number eight, the animal password. The most dramatic, Taunima, with quite a story. It means grass mud horse in Chinese, an extremely popular fictional llama. However, the name sounds very similar to a very vulgar phrase in Chinese. Don't Google it, by the way, especially not at work. <laughs> this play on words llama became wildly internet famous, showing up on shirts and mugs and in kids' toys sold even on the Walmart site. But give attackers 17 minutes and your grass mud horse password will be hobbled. We love our animals and it shows in our logins. With cats like Gachinha in Brazil, dogs like Anjing in Indonesia, butterfly, mariposa in Chile, and monkey in New Zealand, all tamed by wild password poachers in just minutes. Number seven, the computer password, where we don't go very far to come up with our login code. The most entertaining, papaki, or little duck in Greek, which is the at symbol. Just five seconds and this little duck is quacked. Computer words are trending worldwide with the password internet in Denmark, tastatura or keyboard in Romania, ordenador, computer in Spain, and just plain computer in English in India. All very obvious for attackers who work the keyboard for a living. Number six, the I give up password, where we're just filling in the blank. Tops is hoge hoge, meaning something something in Japanese, kind of like blah, blah, blah. Attackers will crack it in two seconds. We check in with cybersecurity pro Yohei Ishihara in Tokyo, who says repeat words like hoge hoge are very common in Japanese and in Japanese passwords. The trick here is um, it's very easy to remember or easy to type. Would you recommend people use hoge hoge? No, no. So you're saying it may be easy to type and easy to remember, but that doesn't make it a good password. The I give up is in favor everywhere. 
including Namtom or Dano in Hungary, Unknown in the U.S., Blah Blah in Israel, and simply Information in Thailand. All quick hacks. Number five, the hooligan password where we play the scoundrel. This one, big boy from Nigeria, meaning someone living large online, showing off cars, clothes, and cash with a hint of shadiness thrown in. It's part of a hit song with millions of views about a father warning his son to stay away from bad company. Some of Nigeria's biggest big boys, like Hush Puppy, have been arrested for cyber crimes, the FBI calling him one of the most high-profile money launderers in the world. What about big boy as a password? Less than a second, and a real big boy could take over your account. Many hooligan passwords in other countries, Playboy in the UK, Killer in Canada, and just about every other country, Schalke, like Joker in Germany, all hacked by cyber jokers in the blink of an eye. Number four, the outhouse password, many just plain base and boorish, except for this creative entry, Biskolf or poop sausage in Sweden. This is my personal favorite one. We check in with a popular YouTube Swedish teacher to learn more. And it's also the Swedish children's favorite insult. Children use this a lot when they're angry or just a bit naughty. Some adults can also use it since it's a little bit cute. This one would take three hours to hack. Still, child's play for crooks online. Number three, the pop culture password. Rising to the top, Matrix in Germany, where the latest Matrix movie was shot in part. You don't know me, no? For those who don't know, the Matrix movie is about intelligent machines who create a fake reality for humans in order to harvest their energy. The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes. It's a prominent password not only in Germany, but 16 other countries. Real life attackers using intelligent machines can hack it in less than one second. We often turn to movies, TV shows, and pop culture characters for passwords, like Star Wars in Norway, Superman in Taiwan, Batman in Colombia, and the animated character Naruto in Saudi Arabia, all crackable in less than one second. Number two now, the children's stories password. At the top, the popular character Kolobok in Ukraine and Russia, a little lump of dough who escapes from grandma and grandpa and goes on adventures. But attackers have this dough ball fried in less than a second. Childhood story characters are well-loved and well-used on the keyboard, but a piece of cake to crack. From Snoopy in Switzerland, to SpongeBob in Ireland, also Topolino or Mickey Mouse in Italy, and Tigger in Canada. And finally, number one, the cheeky password. The winner is Je Mutter, Your Mom in Dutch. It's hackable in three hours, still easy for cyber crooks using automation. We check in with cybersecurity pros Martina and Laurens in the Netherlands. How do you say it? Je Mutter. <laughs> your mother, yes. <laughs> like, yeah, your, your mama. Like, uh, when someone asks you something and, and you're a bit annoyed about it, and uh, I have to change my password, ah, uh, your mama. <laughs> Passwords are a pet peeve everywhere. With Sanayne, none of your business in Turkish, whatever in Malaysia, and the long list of profanities in almost every country, a cinch for attackers to guess. I can imagine it's it's annoying to change your password all the time and to have diff all those different passwords uh, for all those different websites and systems, et cetera. I can imagine, you swear. The problem is if everyone does it, then your password is extremely easy to hack. So what advice do you have for someone who's using a password like your mother? I think it's too short. <laughs> Many cybersecurity experts recommend a long password or passphrase. Shoot for 16 characters or more if you can.
that sounds long, but this example, top 10 most entertaining, is simple and already at 22 characters. Store them all in a password manager so you don't have to remember them. Add in multi-factor authentication, a second step, like a code sent to an app on your phone to serve as a deadbolt on your account door. And don't use the same password on different accounts, or attackers can take your password from one data breach and use it to break into your other accounts. You move there. And ways to make it stronger is always make it longer. So maybe yeah. you can make a sentence about your mother. A nice, polite sentence about your mother. If you're using passwords like the ones in this video, you may find yourself hacked, your money, data, and identity stolen and sold for future use against you. So now is the time to make some changes. I'm Kerry Tomlinson for Ampere News.